But it's also not a normal summer this year. It's a quarantine summer. And so we've kind of been very bored at home, haven't we? Yes. Yes. And so now we've resorted to making our own pizza. <laughs> It is lunchtime. Well, actually, it's way past lunchtime. It's actually like three o'clock or something now, but Isaac has been wanting to make pizza at home. Homemade pizza. I don't know, we've never made homemade pizza. We've never made homemade pizza, Isaac. Yeah. Out of all the things we always like cook out of this house, pizza is not one of those things, and that's always something that you always order. I don't know. That always seems harder to make pizza than it is to just simply order it because it comes to your doorstep in like 10 minutes. Anyways, we are going to make pizza today and I just finished get, grabbing all the ingredients. I got some mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and the thing that we're making from scratch is the pizza dough. Ready Isaac? Yeah. All right, what are you playing? I'm playing Steve Thieves. So Steve wanted to play with Isaac because Steve also plays. Man. Seeing Steve and Sea of Thieves at the same time is very hard. <laughs> the... Yeah, you hear that? That's been all day. We are having construction in the background, if you didn't know. Backyard's coming out nicely. All right, so Isaac, I got pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and you wanted the actual block of cheese so that we could actually do our own shredding. Uh, this is what we didn't have. I needed to get baking powder because we're doing a yeast-less pizza dough. I didn't know pizza dough was complicated like that. I didn't know you actually had to use real baking things like yeast because to me at this point, due to my lack of baking experience, Real baking, in my, to my knowledge, is anything that has to do with yeast. And you know what? I realized we did have yeast. We have two packets of yeast. These things were very hard to find during the early days of pandemic. So this is like gold in the baking world. Um, Can I make a yeast pizza? Nah, it's hard. You can, no, because it takes longer too. You have to like let it settle and like there's science behind it and all that. And you have to use a certain temperature of water. Sounds like a big headache. I haven't opened my mind up to the whole baking world just yet. Oh yeah, pizza sauce. We need some of this. Can you grab a big, the biggest bowl we got the, the, down behind you? The really, really big one. So we got this big boy right here. First things first, let's go ahead and heat up the, 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 the oven. We got this Com guy right here. Combined flour, uh -huh. baking soda, and salt. We need Two and a half cups of flour. I wanna feel it. Mmm, so fun. All right, cool, we're done with the flour. Nice. One teaspoon of salt. Stop moving! Ah! All right, next, we're gonna find a whisk and mix it all together. Nice. Are you having fun? Yeah. Summertime is a time for kids to go outside and have fun. Summer camps are a common thing, getting activities. But it's also not a normal summer this year. It's a quarantine summer. And so we've kind of been very bored at home, haven't we? Yes. Yes. And so now we've resorted to making our own pizza. <laughs> no, it's positive. This is good. We're learning something. Now we can, we can make our own pizza anytime, anywhere. Yes. Yeah. Okay, slowly add water to the, how much water? Three quarter cup and two tablespoons. Fill that up three quarters water. Bam, ooh, science is happening. Oh, I think we messed up actually. Uh, we were supposed to combine the water and the oil first <laughs> in a separate jug or cup. So what do we do now? Uh, we just add in the oil now. We're gonna have to just make do with what, if it comes out lumpy, it comes out lumpy. We don't have any idea what we're doing. We need rum. Yes, mom is very good at reading instructions. Perfect to make mistakes, trials and tribulations, and learn that way because then it really sinks in because you don't want to mess up again. You wash your hands, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that fun? Mm -hmm. That looks really fun, actually. Mm -hmm. it smells weird. That's what flour smells it's like. like. Flour and something not right. Really? Yeah. I think that's just how raw things smell. Dang, the pizza dough is lucky. They get a Isaac massage. I want a massage from Isaac. Yeah. Isaac gives probably one of the best massages I've ever gotten from a non-professional. And I've gotten a lot of massages from non-professionals. And Isaac's got some great, good strength in his hands. Key attribute to being a good massage therapist. Bam. See what happens with that. Oh, it's sticky now. Oh, it's sticky? Oh, should we add more flour then? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna keep doing this process over and over until we have like so much uh, dough. We're just not. We're gonna be making like an extra, extra, extra large pizza. I'm down. I'm pretty hungry. Are you? That's good. Nice. All right, it's a little sticky. 
really work it in. Break it, fold it, break it, fold it. Are you sure you know how to bake it? I know how to make puff pastry. Oh yeah, if you want a puff pastry uh, recipe, I have a couple recipes on this channel if you want to check click it out. Click the link in the description. Yeah, click whatever pops up in your face right now. Cool, that looks pretty good, what do you think? Pretty good. Yeah, it's soft, not too sticky. Not sticky. Or a little bit. But... Lightly flour your work area and a rolling pin. Okay, wiping it down. Oh, can you grab the rolling pin? Do you know what a rolling pin is? This will be the work surface. We're gonna flour our work surface. Ooh, I wanna do that. So flour this, so let's make this floured up and stuff. Roll the dough into a very flat circle. Put some elbow grease in there. Yeah. Oh, feel it, it feels nice. Mm -hmm. See if we can like start molding the sides into a circle. Watch your fingers. How do you make it into the circle? I'm gonna start over. Hey, I'm getting hungry just staring at this dough. I've been hungry. You can put it here, and then very gently. Genius. And then, Guinness World then Records. you turn it this way. Guinness World Record. And then we turn it this way again. Yeah, the sound effects help too. Make make noises out of your mouth. Power of the pizza. Like Ninja Turtles. Pizza power meant something to a 90s kid. I'm a 2008 kid. I feel sorry for you because it's not fun saying the two, a 2000 kid. It's way funner to say 80s kid, 90s kid. 2000 kid is not very fun to say. It's fun to say. Is it? Okay. True, true, true. I'm a future kid. You're the future kid. Now we're in the 20s, so, so kids nowadays can say, I'm, I'm a 20s kid. So before we continue, this is the moment that Isaac's been waiting for. Isaac wanted to make pizza from scratch, primarily to do this one thing, and that one thing is tossing it up into the air. Yes. Try it. Don't, do not drop it on the floor though. They spin it in the air. You spin it. Woo! Sometimes you see this in New York. You don't really see this in, in LA though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'll be funny if like there's a ceiling fan above us. Summon the Italian powers. Go! Nice! Ooh! Eee! Yeah, we got this guy. So all this excess on the sides, I'm thinking we roll it later. After we put the sauce and the cheese and the pepperoni. Go for it. Just don't over pour. I think that's good. Now take a wooden spoon. I guess if you want your pizza extra saucy, you want to have a saucy pizza. Then uh, we can add more sauce then. This is fun. This is a great idea, Isaac. Yeah. I've been wanting to do this. Yeah. Like forever, but we never had the time. I know. Should I use my hand? If you want. It's more fun that way too. Who needs spoons when you got fingers? You want some more? Oliver Twist. You've never seen Oliver Twist before, have you? Mm. Mm. Because every time I do that, I feel like you're like, I don't know. <laughs> Oliver Twist is like stuck in my mind. The only line I know from that movie is, I want some more. Now. Open up this mozzarella cheese. Now you just got all your mocos all over it. Smell <laughs> it. Ah, oh, okay. Get it all over there. Cheese. Lots of it. I can't tell if they're knocking for you because I remember hearing them knock for you one oh, time. Oh yeah. So it's been kind of confusing sometimes with the construction workers here. Sometimes they're asking me a question and so they're knocking on the door. And they're in the backyard, so they're not knocking the backyard door, so there's no uh, doorbell. In order to get back around to the front of our house, it's a bit of a complicated situation because there's like walls on both sides of our house, so we can't, the only way to get to the front of the house and to the back of the house is through the house. Whoa, that is a lot of cheese in one pile. <laughs> Found out a strategy. Oh, right here. you have a little, like, like a spoon. A spoon of cheese, you get the spoon of cheese on. Looks pretty good. All right, it looks like a pizza to me. All right, next step, pepperoni man. How many pepperoni do you think we need? However many you want. This is your own pizza, there's no rules. If you want, like, you want so much pepperoni that there's no cheese being shown on the pizza, go for it. You want to double layer it up with pepperoni, pepperoni on pepperoni, go for it. You want to do pepperoni and then put more cheese on top and then another layer of pepperoni, go for it. You want a pizza lasagna, go for it. You want, okay, wait. <laughs> oh, that looks so good already. If we had a brand deal with Prego, this would be a really cool shot. Not but not sponsored, so go away, you. A lot of pepperoni. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't put more. Now, this is the part where I'm thinking this is how you make a crust. We roll it up, take the edge that's overflowing, and then you kind of just roll it 
into the insides of the pan, if that makes sense, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we got ourselves a pizza crust. Yeah, I actually think you're right, because this is pretty logically correct. Sweet. That looks like a pizza. Oh man, I'm so happy with this now. I'm always proud. Even if something that doesn't come out right when I cook, I'm still proud because I put in the effort and time to try and learn it. All right, nice and toasty in there. Where do I put uh, exactly? On the top shelf. Top. Yeah. Nice, perfect. That's it, close it. Bake the pizza for 15 minutes to 17 minutes or until golden brown. Slice and enjoy, it says. Hey Siri. Set timer for 16 minutes. 16 minutes, starting now. Yay, perfect. All right, let's clean up while we wait for our pizza can to open. bake. Oh, we can. You wanna take a look? Take a Ooh, peek? Ooh, look at that. Ooh. It looks pretty good. Oh, the pepperoni looks really good. Mm -hmm. Crust isn't crusting up. No, not yet. But it will, give it some time. I think we're only like three minutes in. 10? Oh, hey, Siri, how much time is left? Oh, nine minutes. In nine minutes, that's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful pizza pie. And then we'll finish it. Mm -hmm. We'll eat it. Mm -hmm. Grub on it. Mm -hmm. Hey Siri, stop. Woo, look at that. Woo, that looks good. So, I don't know if you know, but hot things coming out the oven cannot go right on top of the table because the heat will warp the table yeah. and whatnot and the materials. So, I got this guy. Let's place that guy right on top of this guy. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, even the cheese like got a little burnt on top. I like it. Dang, look at this pizza. Look at this pizza, man. It's such a good looking pizza. It's such a good looking pizza, I'm gonna take a picture of it. Our first pizza. So this is the infamous DiGiorno pizza platter that we got from all those DiGiorno brand deals we did. Oh, the, those were the days. I have a feeling this is gonna taste a lot better than DiGiorno. You know why? How come? It's made with love by my son, Isaac. That is a flavor you cannot replace. Yeah. Bam. Oh, I see myself. And the crust hardened. Yeah. That's their picture. This is, this is our picture. You gotta get a sharper one. Mm -hmm. Oh, the crust broke off. Do you think that's good? or Yeah, let's make it smaller. What's up to you? You want some big spices? Nah, not really. Okay. Does it look pizza? There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, get a plate. Grab a plate. Grab a plate. Grab a plate. I used to like cream soda too, but then I changed over the years. Look at that. Oh, you already got the TV going. What are we watching? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I'm gonna get a cream soda too. Might as well. Might as well. This is a momentous occasion where my son made pizza for me. Calls for a cream soda celebration. Let's do a toast to an awesome summer of growth and reflection. Yeah. Or just. The pizza. The pizza. It's a good time. Oh, like, cream soda is good. Why do I not like cream soda anymore? All right, here we go. Oh, my crust. How's it feel? How's it feel? Feels, Feels nice. Good? Ooh, look at the back. What does it look like right here? Ooh, nice. Close up of the pizza. All right, let's take a bite. All right, Three, here we go. Two, one. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad. Not bad. Mmm. Yeah, it's flavorful. The, really good, the cheese in that was pretty good. Cheese in that was really good. Sauce in that was pretty good too. Not, I, my, my expectations for this pizza was actually really low. Mm -hmm, me too. I thought it was gonna be a fail. Mm -hmm. Very pizza-like. Mm -hmm. You did a good job with the uh, cheese in that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when you were doing it, at first I was like, that's too much, that's too much. But then now that I'm eating, I'm like, oh, this is a good amount. But I did have to say one thing about this pizza. Is the dough the yeastless version of pizza dough? You can taste the flour more. Yeah, you definitely taste like a homemade thing. So maybe if we did the yeast next time, we make, try making pizza. And I think if we if we put in like butter or like more oil into the dough to make it a little more like flavorful, that'd be pretty good too. Mm -hmm. I think that's good though. It's good. Mm -hmm. We should say some for uh, mom. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. And there you go, guys. That's our pizza video. What else should we make? 
that we see in like stores. Oh yeah. Oh. Um, we made homemade pho. Mm -hmm. I think not ramen. No, that takes mm -hmm. like days, weeks. But too, I mean, about the same amount. You have to like boil like pork bones or beef bones for like hours in order to get that broth going. Mm -hmm. What do you think about pizza like, compared to hamburgers? Mm, I like hamburgers a little, a little better. We can make tacos next. Mm -hmm. Crunchy tacos. We gotta make that Taco Bell meat. I'm down. We gotta get corn and skim skina. Yeah, we gotta make that fake meat. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you know what we should make? Mm -hmm. A calzone. Yeah, that's what we should do next, calzones. All right, calzones, we'll, what? Wait for that video. So comment down in the, the comment section what you want to see. What, you, what, are we, what are we called? It should be a show. Okay, we're making a show right now? Let's do it. Isaac's cooking show, Tina. <laughs> I'm like, okay, all right, it's Isaac's show. <laughs> He's right. slowly leaving. Right. It's Isaac Casey cooking show. The ick your, show. Your, your, name, your name starts with this, ends with the C, my name starts with the C. Oh, this could be called Ick. Isaac and Casey, Ick. Icky cooking cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the link down in the description for the Don Tot. Oh yeah, Don Tots. The curry puffs. Like and subscribe if you want more of these uh, ick cooking shows.